Greetings from Eastern Nigeria, Omochuku. Happy Sunday. Yet another news update for this Sunday. Just in, gunmen attacked Okorocha's convoy, killing police officer. Now, gunmen has attacked the convoy of the former governor of Imo State, Rochas Anna Okorocha. Yes, and the police officer was killed and that, in that attack that happened at Ihube, or Kiwe Axis, yes, of Imo State. Yes, they said this thing happened along the Okiwe Enugu Expressway within the Ihube Axis. Yes. Now, the gunman attacked his convoy as the former governor was returning from Enugu State to attend the funeral of the mother of the immediate past governor of Imo State, Chief Emeka he had your hair. Yes. Of course, you know, Okocha said this on Sunday when he was at the birthday anniversary celebration of the People's Democratic Party candidate for the November 11 governorship election in Imo State. Samalanyamu. Okocha described the killing of the police officer as unfortunate. Yes. The governor said he was returning from Enugu after attending the burial of the wife of a former senior president, Kenan Amani when his convoy was attacked. He said Peter Mba, the governor of Enugu State, had released vehicles and security men to take him and his team to Imo State for the burial ceremony of the Hedio Has mother. But he said the incident occurred after he had dropped at his Spielbert mansion in Owele and was heading back to Enugu when the incident happened and the gunmen attacked him, yet to be identified. In his words, I quote, I am angry. I am very angry. I am very angry because I spent two, two days in Enugu and nothing happened to me. But it is in my own state that the convoy released to me by the governor of Enugu State, a very good man, to attend the burial ceremony of Inhediha's mother at Mbise that was attacked and one policeman killed. What is happening in Imo State makes me angry. Many people who are running to govern him a state are not capable. But I have seen one man whom the cap fits. When it is time, I will speak. End of quote. Now, that is Okrocha's statement where he disclosed that his convoy was attacked and police officer killed. All right? From the account of the punch, it indicated that a sports utility vehicle. A boss and the hillocks that we are among the convoy, we are riddled with bullets. Other security agents were kidnapped by the attackers as well. But from the information, they have been released. So, this is what happened. Now, this is the attack we are talking about that occurred in this Uhube Axis, the Umonochi, the Enugu Potakota Express, where the Log by Axis. Yes. So, Okocha said he's angry that in any good state where he stayed for two, three days, nothing happened to him. It is his own emo state. Yes, he's supposed to understand what is happening. The insecurity they have created in the state. You know, we talk about this insecurity. Yes, the Fulani is causing the insecurity on their own side. Talking about the attackers who are coming from the Sahel. En route, the Enugu Axis coming to Lokba, you know, Ihuboki, where now Umu Nochi Axis, Abia State. So, this area, that location. So, then you talk about the once the DSS are causing, DSS who are causing the, 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 the killings in their own way. Now, you talk about the, 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 the those people who have been trained by the government, like the Ebagos, yes, the militia, the militia. The baggers. Yes. So this thing is a complex issue. Alright? It's hydro headed. You know, most cases when something starts, it starts later. But it exacerbates. And to stop it will be a difficult task. So what the government is battling today is what they created. And the DSS or the SSS as the case may be, they are still exacerbating it. Pouring fuel in the raging fire. Yes, by the secret dealings they are doing, all these notional things, clandestine, they think people are not, they think people are not seeing them. They have been watched, they have been seen. 
there's no way the birds will fly, you know, that the people on the ground will not see the belly. So it's, it's almost impossible for that to occur. And so that is what is happening in Imo State. Of course, Okocha governed the state for eight years, you recall. During his time, of course, there was no such, you know, insecurity like we are witnessing today in Imo State. Yes. So, but this era, when they said the man from the Supreme Court, the man the Supreme Court placed as governor of the, of the state, you have seen insecurity, you have seen killings everywhere. Yes. And so, and they you know, November 11, they have selected for the gubernatorial election or their charity they want to conduct in Imo State by November 11. So, these are the things heating up the whole thing. So, but what I, what I want to talk about, what we're seeing is this. So, Okrocha has kept this attempt. He's called it assassination attempt on his person. Yes. So, these people have destroyed the country. Alright? They have destroyed the economy. They have made the youths angry. Yes, some of the youths angry. Yes. Some people can pick up arms and ammunition to fight the state because the state has destroyed their lives. It's possible. You cannot set, com completely write it off. There are some elements who will not bear it. And they will pick up arms to fight the state. They have destroyed their future, destroyed their life, their destiny, ruined them completely. There are people who will do that. And so the legs of foreclosure stayed in power for eight years, looted Imo State coffers dry. Billions of Naira he looted with his son-in-law. Yes. And his, and his uh, principal secretary, they looted the states dry. And so today, what are we not talking about? So all these things are the reactions. They are what the aftermath of all the what they have done in, within their time in power. Because uh, when you have denied the people access to money, denied them access to you know you know good life. So what do you expect them to do? They are hungry and they are angry. And they will attack. So Croatia is supposed to know that what is receiving today is, um, is, is a major cause of what is receiving today. So even if he was killed, you see, so he should have blamed himself for that, not, 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 to, blame, not to blame anybody. Yes, because when he was in power, he frustrated many youths. Yes, the Imolites, he frustrated them. It was looting and looting and doing abracadabra. The more you look, the less you see. Confusing people with his, you know, barbarism. And so today, he escaped assassination, assassination attempts and he's crying foul. That is it. That is what we are saying. So they have dug the grave and they will be the ones to fall into it.